It's uh, June 12, 2010, and I just want to give you guys an update on uh, my Tasmanian tree fern. It's um, pushed out most of the fronds that I think it's going to for this season. There's uh, two more still unfurling on, uh, on the inside of what you see here. So there's two dozen new fronds on this on top uh, 58 inches of trunk. And I'll grab the camera in a minute and I'll give you a closer look at the trunk. So um, you can see it's a pretty happy plant. And uh, like I say, this one is Tasmanian. It was imported to Canada from Tasmania in 1991. And uh, I planted it here in April 1994. So it's happy. It does stay evergreen in this climate. This is last year's fronds. And uh, they do tend to brown off after a while, after the next season, and I just cut them off. I've already cut off a few here so I can walk past it. But I'll grab that camera and uh, I'll give you a closer look at this uh, Dixonia Antarctica. This is probably one of the largest specimens on Salt Spring. Uh, there are others in, uh, in private gardens. And uh, when I have time, I'll take the camera and I'll head up there and make a short video of some other tree ferns on Salt Spring. So that's a two-story house I have there, and you can see how big this is. We'll get off to this side here. It's a pretty big plant. And very happy too. And it does actually get full sun in here. When the sun comes around after lunch, it bakes. It's very, very warm. So there's the trunk on it. And there's the fronds. It really is a prehistoric plant. I'm sure uh, at one time T-Rex used to munch on these things. Not T-Rex, maybe the uh, the plant-eating dinosaurs, T-Rex, eat meat. <laughs> but uh, yeah, these have been around for millions of years, the tree ferns, just like cycads.